anything that you want to win in in life and your marriage and your business, I'm telling you, it's possible if you're willing to do the work, if you're willing to create a vision, take your mindset to the next level. You know, if you need to resource up to reach a goal, make that investment in yourself, right? You know, many times, as I say in, in my book, the best investment that you will ever make is going to be in yourself, right? It's going to return the greatest dividend, the best ROI. What's up, friends? I'm back with another episode of the Champion Life Podcast. I'm your host, Kurt Tucker. Today, friends, I want to talk to you about something that has been on my mind over the last, you know, three or four weeks as I'm approaching to hit another milestone, another year, you know, the big 42, right? And I can remember thinking back as a young man, looking at people who had success in life and thinking to myself, like, what is it that they're doing differently? And now as I'm older, as I'm wiser, as I've made those mistakes, as I've had some successes, but also some messes, you know, what I wanted to share with you on this podcast is three things that I would go back and tell my younger self, my, my 20 year old self, if you will, or going back 20 years, if, if I could have a conversation with that young man, right? Um, and I hope that this episode gives you, you know, two or three takeaways that you can implement into yourself with one hope is that it would fast track you. You know, it's a saying that I hear my wife say a lot is that, hey, listen, I can fast track you, right? Like I can show you a way to get to where you want to go a lot faster. And isn't that why we use things like a GPS, right? Like we use our GPS on our phone so that we can get to a destination that we want to go to so much quicker, right? Like we want to get there as fast as we can. And so, you know, one of the things that I think about as I have, you know, been able to have, you know, a little bit of success in life and, you know, in my marriage and in business is, you know, what are the, the three most important things if I had to like go back and do it all over again would be awesome to know that potentially could have gotten me where I'm at today, you know, quicker, right? And so I want to share that with you today. And so I want to dig right into it. And first of all, let you know that these three things are going to be things that you could immediately do. See, I believe that we need to be able to take action on the things you know, that are going to get us to the next level right away. You know, faith without works is dead, right? Like if we don't take action on the things that we know we should do, then nothing's going to ultimately happen. You know, that is the definition of insanity, right? Where if we expect things to change, but we don't do anything differently. And so, you know, what I hope this episode does for you, friends, is that it gives you some actionable things that you can immediately go and apply to your life, apply to your marriage, apply to your business so that you can go next level so that you can live once again, what I like to call the champion life. And so the first thing I'm going to go in order of kind of the third most important, second most important, and then first most important in this episode. So I'm going to save the best for last. So I'm going to encourage you to stay with me. This is going to be a short episode, maybe uh, 30, mo- 30 minutes. And what's really cool is you may be listening to this episode if you're listening to it when it drops, you know, on my birthday, July 12th. Uh, and so I'm super pumped to share this with you, but also to get you know, the, the investment of time uh, that you are willing to spend here with me listening to this or watching this or whatever. So the first thing uh, that I want to share with you uh, is, you know, number one is the power of vision. You know, it says in scripture that without vision, people perish. And I can tell you that if I could go back 20 years, okay, to my 22 year old self, Okay, who, you know, at that point in life, there was a lot of dysfunction. There was a lot of what am I doing with my life? A lot of mistakes that I was making and things of that nature. The first thing that I would go back to that, you know, young man, as I would say, Kurt, listen, we need to have an incredible vision. We need to know and spend more time thinking about what do you really want to create 
in this life, okay? You know, here's the really cool thing is we all get a blank canvas, okay? That we get to create whatever it is that we want. And I believe that you can try to create things all by yourself or, you know, you have a creator that you can create with. But it starts with a vision. And I can tell you that, you know, when you begin to start thinking about the things that you actually want in your life, what do you want to be? Okay, what do you want to do? What, what do you want to have in your life? That begins to start creating the picture, if you will, the bullseye of what your target is so that every single day you will begin to start noticing things in your life that will help you get there. You know, there's something in the brain called your RAS, which is your reticular activating system. And your reticular activating system, what it does is it basically controls what you notice and what you don't notice. See, if you noticed everything around you, you would literally go crazy, okay? But once, once you begin to start having a clear vision on what you want, and you really back that vision up with some goals, which you know I talk a lot about, now all of a sudden your mind knows what to focus on to go help you create and get that, okay? You know, you may have noticed before, you know, maybe a shirt that, you know, you went out and you purchased or a car that you went out and got, and now all of a sudden you notice that same shirt or that same vehicle everywhere when you're driving down the street. That the the reality is, is that vehicle was already there. There was already that same truck, that same car, that same whatever, you know, but now because you have it, you begin to notice it. So the first thing, if I could go back is I would understand the power of vision. Okay. Because now all of a sudden when I have spent time, you know, knowing exactly what I wanted in life, I would be able to get there faster. Another way to think about it is if you were going to go out today and build your dream home, right? Whatever it is that you wanted to live in, maybe it was going to have a swimming pool. It was going to be, you know, two stories with a full basement and it was going to have a beautiful white, you know, fence around it. And it was going to have the dream kitchen that you wanted, the master bedroom, bathroom, you know, all those different things is, you know, you would first you know, go and think about what you want and meet with an architect, a designer to build this beautiful home. But you would first create it as a vision, right, with the architect before you would ever shovel that first ounce of dirt, before you would ever do anything. And so that's a great way to think about, you know, from a life perspective is, you know, do you even know what you're trying to build? And so I would have started earlier in life understanding the importance of creating a vision and really taking more time to think about the things that I really wanted in life to get clearer on those things. And so I want to encourage you today, you know, if you don't have a clear vision, if you don't have goals written down, by the way, a Harvard study showed that over 97% of people don't have clear written goals, but 3% do. And the 3% that do have clear written goals, okay, earn financially as much as the other 97% combined and their achievable rate of goals is significantly higher. So you're giving yourself a massive advantage if you're just willing to take some time to sit down and really think about what you want. It's one of the first things that I love to do with you know, people and with coaching clients, it is the beginning of everything that I do, you know, with champion builders is helping people get clarity on exactly what they want. Because now when we have a bullseye, we can begin to start, you know, going after those goals. So the first thing is taking the time to get a clear vision for what you want with some goals. And can I encourage you to do one thing as you are creating this vision for your life? One of the things that I wish I would have done earlier in my life along with the vision is having a 10x mindset, meaning believe bigger, you know, you know, not just playing it small. Many times we play small because we think that's all we can do. 
And trust me when I say this, that the only limitations that you have, friend, is the limitations that you're putting on yourself. You can be so much more, you know, right now even, you know, than what you want, you know, what you think you might be able to do, right? And so one of the things I just want to encourage you to do is you're thinking about this vision and you're thinking about the things that you want in your life is don't play small, okay? Really, truly 10x your mindset and think bigger. It's going to take just as much energy to think big as it is to think small. If you're going to invest 40, 50 hours a week of working towards your vision, maybe in your business or your job, you know, you might as well understand the principle that, you know, hey, if I'm going to put 40 to 50 hours a week into something, I might as well think big and go big, you know, because more than likely, even if you miss the mark, you're going to be a lot more ahead than if you would have thought small, right? The second thing, if I could go back 20 years, friends, to my 22-year-old self, is I would have gotten a coach or a mentor a lot sooner. See, here's the deal. Once you have that vision, once you have those goals and things of that nature, the bottom line is that if you can connect with somebody who's already been there, who's already accomplished many of the things that you've wanted to accomplish, whether it's maybe in your fitness, it's in your faith, it's as a husband, you know, as a business person, you know, whatever, you will be able to fast track once again and get to that destination so much quicker. And I can tell you that when, when my mentor, Jay Meyer, came into my life in 2010, which ultimately, you know, I can think back and think, oh my gosh, if I would have had him in my life at an earlier time, and which he's the one that shared with me the importance of these things that I'm talking about with vision and mindset and priorities and things of that nature. He could have saved me so much pain. It, it, it would have 100% saved me so many years of just, you know, heartache and, and, you know, having to go through so much stuff in my marriage, 100%. Um, it would have saved me probably hundreds of thousands of dollars because I would have been so much more smarter with my money, right? I wouldn't have been out blowing it on, you know, certain things that I didn't need uh, and things of that nature. And so, you know, I would have gotten a coach or a mentor so much sooner. Now, you know, at 42, you know, I've invested hundreds of thousands of dollars in, you know, my own personal growth and my life and our marriage with Rachel and I and, and business coaching and consulting and things of that nature, which has 100% helped us, you know, grow and, and, and get to where we're at today. And so I would have, you know, sought after a mentor at an earlier, you know, point in my life and saying, hey, listen, I don't know I don't know all the answers here but I'm willing to seek out help. I need help and that's okay. That is true hum humility when you can say, "Hey, I need some help here, right? In my life, in my marriage, in my business or whatever." And so, if I could go over and, and do it all over again, you know, I would 100%, you know, do that. You know, one of the things when I think back and maybe you've been here is when you've had a specific goal that you didn't necessarily know how to get to, but you went and you made an investment, right? You made an investment in a book maybe that you read or a course or a coach or a specific business, you know, uh, you, you know, tool that helped you get further faster. You know, now all of a sudden you can look back if you've had that experience and you can say, holy cow, like, I think about the book that I wanted to write for so long and then what made that a reality so that I could have the champion life playbook, not only as a guide for my own kids, but you know, for other people that have read it is what stopped me is I didn't know how. Right. And so what I did was, you know, I found a company that that's what they did specifically, you know, helping people take, you know, a book from an idea and a mindset to actually becoming a reality, right? And then bam, there you go. There's the book. Now, was there time in between the thought and the reality? 100%. And, and that's where the work, you know, has to be, has to be done here. So, you know, one of the things that I want you to think about is, you know, how do you take, you know, what it is that you want and make it a reality and how do you do it with the quickest and at the end of the day you know what happens is it's 
creating a vision first, knowing what you want, and then getting that coach and going out and making it happen. Okay, the last but not least, the number one thing, friends, that if I could go back and I could do it all over again, 100% would be I would have found my faith in Christ sooner. No doubt about it. You know, the, the best coach, the best champion that you can ever have in your life encouraging you, you know, and getting wisdom from is the Holy Spirit, period. You know, and I can think back of all the times in my life where I didn't have love, I didn't have peace, I didn't have joy, I didn't have self-control, I didn't have all those things that become available when we have our faith in Christ. And, you know, all those mistakes that I made, and you're going to make mistakes, you're going to have failures, you're going to have all those different things. But I can look at my life today, you know, with Jesus, you know, to the days prior to Jesus and think, oh my gosh, like if I could just go back, I would, you know, all the questions that I had and all the, the different things I just didn't understand. And I realize now it doesn't matter. You don't have to have it all figured out. That's what faith is, right? You know, that's where we can believe and proceed without necessarily always seeing it first, right? And so if I could go back, I would have established my prayer life and my faith in Christ a lot sooner because now what I realize is that is the firm foundation. If you're going to create a vision, if you're going to go out and build that beautiful dream home, if you will, like I was talking about earlier, one of the most important parts of that home is that you want to make sure that you have a firm foundation, right? You don't want to have cracks in those walls and you don't want to have something that's not going to be able to withstand this beautiful home that you're going to build on top of that foundation. And I know that a life without a firm foundation is subject to crumbling, you know, as it says in the scripture that a life built, you know, on the sand is the storm comes and what it can it can wash it away. But all of a sudden, when you have a life that's built on the rock, it can withstand those storms of life. And there's one thing that is going to happen, friends, is there's going to be storms. There's going to be storms that are going to happen. Life's going to happen, whether it's in your in your your health, it's in your marriage, it's in your business, your finances with your kids, and you want to make sure that your life is built on a strong foundation. And so if I could go back, I would have begun that process of taking time every single day, meeting with my creator, you know, asking and seeking wisdom and truth and journaling and being attentive to my mindset my thoughts, what he was wanting to do in my life, because that would have ultimately, you know, uh, just created more peace. At the end of the day, you know, the one thing that I seek and desire more than anything today in my life at 42 is having peace, not money, not sex, not, um, you know, cars, not, you know, vacations, any of that thing. It's peace. When you have peace, man, I believe that that makes everything so much more, you know, better in your life. And so, you know, as I thought about these three things, you know, uh, today as I was prepping for this episode of what I felt could give you, my friend, the greatest impact, those are the three things that I came up with today that I believe firmly create a foundation for you to create in your own life what I like to call the champion life, right? You know, where you are having true abundance in your life. As it says in John 10, 10, the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But I have come to give you life abundant, right? And, and what does the enemy come to steal and kill and destroy in your life? Right? He comes to steal your joy. He comes to kill your dreams, your hopes, the things you want to accomplish. And most importantly, he's coming to destroy your relationships, your marriage, and things of that nature. But I know that with Christ comes abundance. And that's the reason why, you know, that being the firm foundation of my life is so powerful and for you as well, right? You know, so that is the abundance. You know, the freedom is remember that where the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. You know, you don't have to live in fear and doubt and worry all day long. 
when the Spirit of the Lord is present. And then victory, where we're winning in every single area of our life. You know, Scripture says that we should give thanks to God who gives us victory through Christ. See, anything that you want to win in in life, in your marriage, in your business, I'm telling you, it's possible if you're willing to do the work, if you're willing to create a vision, take your mindset to the next level. You know, if you need to resource up to reach a goal, make that investment in yourself, right? You know, many times, as I say in, in my book, the best investment that you will ever make is going to be in yourself, right? It's going to return the greatest dividend, the best ROI, right? Return on investment. And here's the really cool things, friend, is that at the end of the day, when you begin to start winning in your faith, winning in your fitness, getting in the best shape of your life, not only physically, but mentally and emotionally, when you start to become the husband, the, 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 the wife, the, the mom, the dad that God created you to be, and you begin to start having this peace and harmony in your marriage and, you know, in, in your, your family life, but behind four walls behind the closed doors. I can tell you this, that when things get right behind the four walls, man, that is what now sets up the success outside those four walls when your family is winning, right? That allows you now to have the success from a financial standpoint. You know, there's nothing worse than when things aren't right at home, especially for us men and our marriages. You know, if things aren't right behind the four walls, we we struggle outside in the workforce, in the business world, and things of those things of that nature. So it's so important to have alignment for the assignment and to do the right things at the right time, you know, in the right order, because that ultimately is what creates you know success in your life, in your marriage, in your business. So that friends, you can win. Okay. So hey. As I think back, you know, now in my young 42 year old self, if I could go back 20 years, these would be the three things that I would implement as quick as possible to help me, you know, achieve the results that I've seen myself be able to have. And most importantly, other people, as I see people that are having success and have a desire, you know, to be more like them, right? You know, as you seek out mentors and I see, man, these are the things that these people are doing right. They've got a great vision for their life and mindset. They they have a mentor, or they have someone showing them the way and their faith is a firm foundation. That is the one thing that I believe that will last forever. Everything else isn't going to last, right? And I want to end you with this friend, you know, is I just created something, you know, on my website called freechampioncall.com. And it's on my Kirk Tucker website, or you can go to freechampioncall.com, where I've put together a five-step simple training to really dig deep and take your life, your marriage, and your business to the next level. Applicable, practical things, as well as created a free call with me or my team to be able to just do what I like to call a breakthrough call, where we can look at a couple of the areas, maybe in your life right, right now, that you're not where you want to be at. And we can talk about some clarity. We can talk about vision and where you're at and where you want to go. And maybe we might be a good fit to help you go there. It's a free resource, freechampioncall.com. You can go there, check it out, put your information in, take a look at the quick training there. I know that it'll add value to you. And if you think we're a good fit, book a call with our team where we just want to serve you and we want to help you ultimately go next level and create your champion life. So, hey, thanks for tuning in to this episode. I appreciate you so much. And, hey, you know what, friends? Let's keep winning and going next level, being the champions that God created us to be. I'll see you on the next episode. God bless. Mm -hmm.